When the Army Chief of Staff had a few hours of downtime on a fall weekend, how did he spend them? Find out on the paper trail. George Marshall loved football. He played on a hometown school team as a teenager, but readily admitted that, quote, I was athletically inclined in my teens, but not talented. I played football on the private school local team, and I wasn't a pronounced success at that. I was too light. Marshall had also injured his elbow as a young man, and it healed slowly over time, hampering his ability to play sports. It was still giving him problems when he enrolled in the Virginia Military Institute, so he didn't play football in his first two years. When I went to the VMI, my mother made me promise for two years not to risk this arm in playing, and uh, at the end of two years, I told her I thought that I had uh, done that, and that uh, she might now let me use my own judgment, which she did, and I made the team that first year I tried for it, and uh, continued on the team until I graduated. In his senior year, the VMI football team were the Southern Conference champions. Marshall is featured in the team photo, looking very determined. In 1928, he went to the first VMI football game since playing. It was the VMI Georgia Tech game, which VMI lost 13 to nothing. After the game, Marshall wrote a letter to VMI Superintendent General William Cock, expressing his disappointment as alumni are wont to do. Quote, we got the impression that the team lacked the old spirit which used to mark the playing of the cadets. Our idea of a cadet on the field is one of quick action, speed, and a relentless fighting determination to stop the other fellow or to go forward. Every VMI football team should give the impression of relentless fighters. Marshall had a chance to see his alma mater win in an October 1940 game against Davidson, where VMI won 13-7. In the fall of 1941, Marshall read that the VMI football team was to play Maryland at nearby Bird Field, and he wondered if it was still possible to get a ticket. Marshall pressed the buzzer for Frank McCarthy, chief of the General Headquarters Secretariat and fellow VMI alum, and asked him to check on the matter. The young officer called the visiting coach, who promptly produced a ticket on the 50-yard line. Is the team so bad, Marshall asked, that no one is going to the game? When McCarthy explained how his VMI background had helped, the chief of staff suggested he get another ticket and cheer with him for the cadets. As Army Chief of Staff, General Marshall was invited to the annual Army-Navy football game, and he attended several during World War II. In 1940, he and his wife Catherine traveled to Philadelphia and watched the 50th anniversary of the first meeting of the teams. Navy won 14 to nothing. Marshall attended the cold and windy 1944 contest in Baltimore, where Army hoped to break Navy's five-year winning streak. Army was ranked number one, led by future Heisman Trophy winners Doc Blanchard and Glenn Davis, and Navy ranked number two. Army won 23-7. Admiral Harold Stark wrote to Marshall, I gather the better team won, and as you can guess, it is a joy for me to think of the kick you must have gotten out of it almost worth losing. Marshall still loved football even in his retirement. When young Jim Wynn handed him a football one afternoon in the Marshall's yard, there was nothing to do but have a play, with Marshall punting the ball in a suit. <laughs>